overall, overall, we're pretty happy with how the patch has landed. No critical bugs, there's a few bugs with Reef Herald, Hui, uh, we're fixing. Hui 1 happened to me in the first game that I played him, very oppressive bug. Balance is decent, no champion move more than 4% in either direction. I think that's definitely a bit of a cope. There's definitely champions that move for sure 4%. I've heard that Ringer apparently moved like 6% in China or something like that. And we see like a lot of champions have crazy win rates right now, so I, I feel like this is just to like... Just to like, be nice maybe. Shout out to QA Engineering in particular for taking so many measures to ensure patch stability given no preseason soak period this year. Our hotfix patch will go live in about 18 hours from now on. This hotfix isn't intended to fix everything that is weak or strong, but many tackle the big outliers. Hexplace seems a bit weak, but need a bit more time to let things settle before figuring out whether the item needs changing or which parts. Things coming in 14.2 will be things like stat chart rework, hopefully some updates to tool, pick, tool tip trackers and adjustments to some items that take more time to test. So we know 14.2, uh, we're gonna remove stat charts from the game, uh, or like change them, and if you know if that goes through, and champions will probably have less MR and armor and stuff, so they're gonna be a bit squishier. Bad here, gold. Thanks for sub. Chance snowballing. Our early read on snowballing is that it's up a little bit from last season, with games more decisive ending when they reach a snowball state. So far, it's not high that we feel like we need to drastic action, other than being a bit more nerf heavy than buff heavy, but we're monitoring closely. Non-mana EP. The big winners were champions like Singe, Timo, Gwen, Mord, Kale, and Rumble. They stopped having to buy a stat on the Andre that they didn't care about, which is which was mana, and replaced it with a stat that they really like, which is HP. Cartus is the counterexample here. He cared a lot about mana and doesn't really care about living longer. Reef Maker is a bit strong, but they're opting not to rise especially these champions by nerfing it here for now. It seems close to the power level of Lianji, Raleigh, and Nashus, possibly a tad stronger, but we need more time to evaluate. Storm Surge, the Spider Nurse, the Storm Surge pre release, it's a bit too strong. Champs like Fizz, Echo, Katrina, Cannon were beneficiaries of here. We're going to nurse Storm Surge and Rocket Belt smaller, but leave the rest of the AP system intact and see how things shake after that. Lethality in Hydra, we made changes to Lethality that make it better early game. Some champions are benefiting from this, like Aphelios, so who has Lethality in Kit or a frequently purchased collector, which I've uh, explained earlier in the stream. Aphelios was a huge winner, and that's why he's 50% win rate now. Um, the Hydra's Profane, Ravenous, and Tiamat are a bit weak, so we're bringing those up. Fathers and Tanks. Overall, we think Fathers and Tanks would be in a decent spot after the APs that are strong in top are brought down a bit. Arsenal and Shy seem weak, and Titanic looks to be a bit strong. After these adjustments, we let this sit and reevaluate. Supports. Supports look to be in a good spot. How is everything in a good spot, buddy? We're going to observe a bit more to support item quests, play out, and then reevaluate. Trail Basil looks a bit OP out of these items. Okay. Um. Okay, our hotfix, oh no, uh, sorry, I scrolled down. Uh, Harsel and Shite, weak, uh, no, never mind, I read this already. Triforce doesn't seem to be systemically underpowered, even for champions who lost under, but for some of the range users that were very dependent on three false Shike. Oh, on the, that's Shifer's passive. Cork and Ezreal, they took a hit, so we're buffing them. So yeah, Chief, so this is something I mentioned um, when items went live. Shifer's got heavily nerfed because Chief Old Shike, which was like the AD passive that was on Shifer's, got removed. So Shifer's lost a lot of damage, basically. And champs like Cork and Ezreal are suffering a lot from it. Um, which is what they wrote here. Let me just pick something. Uh, yeah, never mind. Um, we're buffing them... Over champs that have good fallbacks like Vayne. So Vayne is more versatile in builds. A champions. Zat. Zat was very dependent on Ravenous Hydra last season, took a large hit. Now that we're uh, he's being back to more single targets, we're looking at some buffs to get him back to his normal power level. I can definitely see Zat being way weaker, but I feel like they have to be really careful with how they buff this champion. Nafiri, even accounting for Nafiri players building wrong and Profane Hydra being a bit weak, she still seems weak, giving her a bit more buff to a bump to be performant. I don't mind. I mean, personally, I think Tafir is like one of the worst champs in league uh, in Hyla, so we don't know about her. I, I don't really have a problem with that. Um, that will just pick the same. Zach buff losing gradient virtue was a pretty big blow to Zach, and we're looking to bring him back to account for that. Makes sense. Again, how to be careful with buffing Zach. Please, Gwen, Kelly, Singe, Nurse. Uh, definitely makes sense. They abuse Nashers really well. They abuse Reefbanker really well. They got such good uh, items now. Um, these champions either benefited a lot from stat swaps, typically don't have to waste money on a stat they don't care about, or got a stat they like a lot, typically help. We're taking care to not ride special them, nerf them, and the items. 
It's so funny how he's writing that, right? Because this has been a raw tradition where they nerf a champion and item in the same patch and the champion is completely gutted. It, it's very interesting. They're miming this when this was a huge problem in the past. Um, okay, so what do we have? So let's go one by one. We have Corky, Ezreal. I don't know why they write Luxana Crown Guard. Come on. Okay, so we have Corky. Um, makes totally sense. Corky and Ezreal, both of them. Corky and Ezreal, la last patch had the build of Muramana Triforce and the build of Shikti Wars, right? And they don't, like, even though Ezreal is usually a pretty versatile champion, when it comes to builds, he just doesn't seem to have any, like, other build. Essence Shiver also got nerfed. That's also another thing you have to consider. Lux, uh, Lux buff. I guess she's not doing too well with the new items. Kind of surprised about that one, to be honest. Nafiri, uh, understandable. Zach, fine. Zat, fine. Then we have Championers, Aphelios, huge benefit from Collector and Lethality being better. Fizz, uh, Fizz abusing the new Leech Bane, which was Giga buffed, and the new uh, Storm Surge, which is also way too OP. So, makes sense. Gwen, Kale, uh, Timo, Nauseous Tooth, Reef Maker, way to Shunk, LeBlanc. Uh, it's probably gonna be AD LeBlanc, right? AD LeBlanc got a new Assassin item now that stacks uh, the charge, energized uh, charges now, way faster than before. So, uh, because she dashes. So, okay, it makes sense. I hope AD LeBlanc has got it. I shouldn't be in the game. Toxic playstyle. Uh, we have Kale. Uh, Kale. Kale usually suffers from the same problem, which is like items get changed and then Kale benefits. It's always the same pattern. We've seen it already for like years and years. She's just very good at this. So, I guess she just has to be nerfed. Um, yeah. Okay. So then we have... Uh, we have Singed, yeah, huge benefit from AP items. We have Tarik, which I'm a bit surprised. I haven't really seen any Tarik. Um, maybe it's something with the support item being stronger. Maybe it's the new Knight's Vow. Well. I'm not really sure what it is about Tarik here. That one is a bit surprising. Tarik usually, like, gets no love from Riot. Like, usually Tarik is just left in the dirt. Like, the champion receives no buffs, no nerfs for, like, a long time. Alright, we have System Buffs, Assassin's Shiver. As I said, Assassin's Shiver got nerfed. Now champions like GP, champions like Ezreal, or basically champions that buy Assassin's Shiver also got worse with that. So Assassin's Shiver is gonna also gonna buff Ezreal here indirectly, right? If he bu buys it. Harstil, uh, I kind of forgot what they changed with Harstil. I think they made it like less damage or something. They nerfed the damage on the on the proc, right? So like Mundo probably got hit, Sam probably got hit. Buffing Harstil. Harbreeze, that's the item I think that um, spawns statues. Items obviously Giga Underwhelming, the statue lasts like 60 seconds, it's just Giga Underwhelming, Snowball item. Profen Hydra, uh, Lethality Hydra makes sense, Ravenous Hydra makes sense. Shybreaker, a bit, I guess it's uh, weak, buffing Tiamat. Um, Tiamat is definitely weak, but I, I really would like Riot to not buff Tiamat. Um, I, I would much rather see them just buff the Hydra, which you build Tiamat into, not actual Tiamat, because Tiamat is such a toxic item. You're laning against Azat, you're laning against Kiana, you're laning against Talon, and all of a sudden they're just one shot every wave and you have no gameplay, right? Very toxic. And you have Collector nerf, understandable, they buffed AD on it, they made it cheaper or something like that. Item is like way better than before. Rocket Belt, surprised about that one because I actually thought Rocket Belt is bad. Uh, the active seems underwhelming, it's just a cheap item. But I guess the data shows otherwise. Storm Surge, understandable, everyone knows this item is nuts. Titanic Hydra also. Jax with Titanic Hydra removes a big weakness of Jax not having good wave clear. Now it's just champions because just going crazy and a lot of other champions. Like I saw Jungler's a lot buying this. And then Trailblazer, which I don't even know what I, that's I think the roaming support item that gives you moose bit, right? Uh, I think that's Trailblazer. Okay, and then for the last thing, we also have, um, we have Huey buffs, okay, and these ones are already public, and honestly, they're looking amazing, they're looking exactly what I want to see on the champion, okay, so let's go. First of all, HP per level goes up, totally fine. Wow, oh, that, that is wholesome. Oh, someone just dropped out the lobby, that's amazing, I love seeing that, nice. <laughs> Ah, we got a job hack, uh, still going strong here. Okay, so anyway, okay, wait. So HP going up, amazing because the champ is just way too squishy. He needs some sort of durability. They buff his armor, which was nice. Now they're being giving some HP. Maybe he's gonna need more than that. We'll see. Especially with the game being more bursty. Then you have QQ AP ratio, okay? Um, very interesting, they're br bringing QQ up again. QQ was already a spell that they buffed in the past, and it's not getting a huge buff here, but, you know, a buff is a buff. And, you know, um, I feel like a lot of Huey players have realized that spamming QE is much better, especially with CDR. Now, Huey got a, lo a lot of hits this uh, with the new items. He actually didn't get better because he's lacking way too much haste in builds, which is a big problem. So, um, Rat is bringing AP ratios here, but up, so, like, Burst Huey is a bit better too, right? 
and yeah, QQ a bit better again. Then you have E. Every E spell is just gonna get flat 50 damage from max rank. Okay, this is insane. Okay, the only champion that I can think of of getting this huge of a buff was Oriana. Oriana got a very similar buff on W, and then all of a sudden her W started dealing way more damage, right? And then W max Oriana became a thing. Way getting this much damage on E. I don't know if E is gonna be the first max spell. You're probably still gonna max Q, even with number being pretty high now. Damn, 50 damage, that's no joke. You're gonna obviously max this second, no matter what, or maybe first, but second probably, no matter what. This also makes, um, this makes the rune, okay? Let me show you the rune right here. Uh, this inspiration rune that exists, uh, the new one, that gives you a skill point a bit better because you get more points into E faster into the game. And then our missile wit. Also a very, very good change, okay? Hui R, as much as I love abilities being hard to hit, it's just too hard to hit. And this is not such a huge increase. This is nice, okay? It's gonna make Hui R actually hittable as a spell. This also makes Malignance in a way a bit better because then you're spamming more ults and the ult is a bit better, right? But whatever. Um, is this gonna be enough to make Hui like super good? Uh, I don't know, the E buff is really insane. The E buff is really insane. The rest is pretty possible. I don't know, but this definitely makes him better. And I'm gonna be playing him. This is nice. Hoi buffs are nice. And then for the rest of the changes, I guess we'll wait to see when they release the actual numbers.